right? So there's kind of three major areas that I, you know, I would break this down into when talking about how to get fired or <laughs> how to get fired, how to get hired on freelance sites. Kind of the first area, kind of the first phase of this is understanding the master strategy. And so there's really kind of, I would say six different key things that you're trying to do when you're on these freelance sites. The first step is, or the first thing, uh, part of the strategy, the reason why you wanna use freelance sites uh, is you wanna, you wanna use them to build your business. So you essentially, you wanna use Elance and Odesk and Freelancer and all these other ones to, to get your business off the ground if you're starting from scratch. Uh, the next way is to get cash fast, to be able to get enough money to quit your day job and be a coder full time. This is a huge one. A lot of times the biggest thing that slows people down and hurts people is the fact that they have a day job that they have to worry about. The third one, and again, this is probably, you've heard me harp on talking about targeting, targeting, targeting. Probably, uh, so this is probably one of the most important things that you can use a freelance site for, and that is to find your niche. What it is that you love to do that other people will also pay you for. If you haven't done paid work, even if you do all of the exercises and so forth, yes, you're going to get a lot closer, but you're never really going to know for sure until you get paid clients. Even free clients isn't as good because it's, it kind of forgets the second part, right? You may be able to find out what you love to do, but it doesn't solidify in your mind that people will pay you to do it. The fourth thing is helping you identify long-term clients. You can start to identify people that could be good long-term clients for you, and you can essentially prospect on those sites. The next one is, and I've kind of talked about this and it's probably obvious, but is building your portfolio. You can go on these sites when you're first getting started and use them to be able to build up your portfolio and get those testimonials and get those uh, projects so that you can show them off. The final thing in the master strategy is then to build your brand. And this is kind of what we led in with. It's about figuring out what your brand is and then building up a reputation around it. Just like you wanna build up your portfolio around your niche once you identify it, you also wanna build kind of your brand and your reputation around it.